Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought it would be exciting to do my entire TBR, so that's why this is at a little bit of a weird angle. I keep all of my TBR books at the top of my staircase before my room, so we're not in my room, we're at the top of my stairs, which is why this is on a very funny angle, because I had nowhere else to put my tripod. So I'm currently heading off to university in about two weeks. And I don't know what books to take with me, so I thought if I showed you guys all of the options, you'd be able to help me figure out which ones I should take or which ones I should just read first because I do still have a couple of weeks, but I want to read Game of Thrones in that time. So yeah, grab a snack and a drink because this might be a long video, and let's just get right into it. So I'm just going to start over here, work my way down, then I have this shelf, and there's also a bunch of books on the floor, which is what my tripod is sitting on. And then I'll just have to move around to show you those. Persuasion by Jane Austen. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Our Mutual Friend and A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Grimm's Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Kitch 22 by Joseph Heller. For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. The Odyssey by Homer. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, Wicked and Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire, The Crucible by Arthur Miller, 1984 by George Orwell, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, Tales of Mystery and Imagination by Edgar Allan Poe, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare, Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, and The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. So as you can tell, those were all of my classic books, but I also recently bought four books for my English Literatures class that I will be taking. So the first one is Oedipus Rex by Suffolk, maybe? I'd never heard of it. Um, Selected Stories by Catherine Mansfield. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk, which I'm really excited to read and Into the Wild by John Krakauer. Calling Maggie May by Anonymous. There Will Come a Time by Carrie Arcos. Be With Me by Jay Lynn. Blackbird by Anna Carey. Dime by E.R. Frank. Somewhere There Is Still a Sun by Michael Grubaum. Dead Money Run by J. Frank James. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Get Even by Gretchen McNeil. Breaking Free by Abby Sher. And Standoff by Andrew Smith. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Starcrossed Goddess and Dreamless by Josephine Angelini. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. And The Vanishing Season by Jody Lynn Anderson. Fever 1793 and The Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hulse Anderson. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. A Tap on the Window and Fear the Worst by Linwood Barclay. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. The Fixer by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Dead Man Walking, How to Make a Serial Killer, and Serial Killers Up Close and Personal by Christopher Barry D. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. The Iron Trial by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blackman. Bitter End and Perfect Escape by Jennifer Brown. Red Rising and Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. Burn on Fire by Susan Callahan. Quiet by Susan Kane. The Bear by Claire Cameron. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. Eve Once and Rise by Anna Carey. And then I have a pile of books here that I really want to read, but I don't know how soon I'll get to them because I've I heard a lot of good things and I don't know about the hype or I haven't really heard a lot of stuff about them. So, Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Asylum by Madeline Roque. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tachok. My Secret Sister by Helen Edwards and Jenny Lee Smith. Between the Wild by Natalie C. Parker. Reboot by Amy Tintera. Fan Art by Sarah Tregay. Ten Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker. And Nightmares by Jason Siegel. The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. Losing It by Cora Cormack, All Fall Down by Allie Carter, Uncommon Criminals and Perfect Scoundrels by Allie Carter, The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chenaney, The Testing by Joel Charbonneau, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd and Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie, The Girl from the Well by Rain Chepeco, 
Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire, also by Cassandra Clare. So yes, the only book I've read is City of Bones. Now we're going back up. Is that bad? Freak Boy by Kristen Elizabeth Clark. What Happens Next by Colleen Clayton. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Naomi Nee Lies No Kissless by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. Pretty Girl 13 by Elizabeth Coley. Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. Rule, Jet, Rome, and Nash by Jake Crownover. Columbine by Dave Cullen. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. The Scorch Trials. The Death Cure and The Kill Order by James Dashner. Something Real by Heather Demetrios. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Denard. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. Room by Emma Donahue. The Boy Who Drew Monsters by Keith Donahue. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. Endgame The Calling by James Frey. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith or J.K. Rowling. Unbreakable by Kimmy Garcia. Project Kane by Jeffrey Girard. Fallen Too Far by Abby Glines. The Massey Murder by Charlotte Gray. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns by John Green, as well as Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Killer Instinct by Essie Green. The Fall by Bethany Griffin. Burn for Burn, Fire with Fire, Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Saban Vivian. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harstad. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. The Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom and The Hero's Guide to Storming the Castle by Christopher Healy. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. The Evolution of Mara Dyer. And The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Confess. Hopeless. Losing Hope. Maybe Someday. Slammed. Point of Retreat. And This Girl. All by Colleen Hoover. Okay, so now we are back down on the floor because as you can see, I still have a lot more books behind me. There's also a pile on this side, so I'm going to start over here and then work my way over. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. Trafficked by Kim Purcell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. And no, I haven't read the first one, I just only own this one. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Welcome to the Dark House by Lori Feria Stolars. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. Survive the Night by Danielle Vega. Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. The Glass Sentence by Essie Grove. The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Unholy by Neil Schusterman. Pivot Point and Split Second by Casey West. A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Quarantine the Loners, The Saints, and The Burnouts by Lex Thomas. The Land of Stories, A Grim Warning, and Beyond the Kingdoms by Chris Colfer. The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. Project 17 by Lori Feria Stolars. Wonder by R.J. Palacio. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. No Place by Todd Strasser. Thinking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens. A Thousand Cuts by Simon Lillick. Sweet Francais by Irene Nemirovsky. Dark Inside by Jen Roberts. Bearing Water by K.A. Tucker. Prep School Confidential and Wicked Little Secrets by Kara Taylor. Collateral, Tilts, and Triangles by Ellen Hopkins. A Thousand Splendid Suns, and The Mountains Echoed, and The Kite Runner by Khaled Husseini. Inked Armor by Helena Hunting. This one's going to sound super nerdy, but The Bedside Book of Psychology by Christian Garrett. I'm a psychology major, so... The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. When She Woke by Hilary Jordan. The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by Rachel Joyce. These Broken Stars and The Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I did get about 100 pages into this a little while ago, but I think I'll have to reread it. Dr. Sleep, Joyland, Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, Pet Cemetery, and Revival by Stephen King. Second Life by S.J. Watson. Reborn by Jennifer Rush. Rooms by Lauren Oliver. The Boundless by Kenneth Opal. Panic by Lauren Oliver. I Will Save You by Matt De La Pena. Serena by Jane L. Patrick. My True Love Gave to Me, which is an anthology from a bunch of authors, but edited by Stephanie Perkins. We Were Here by Matt De La Pena. Trouble by Non Pratt. Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Easy by Tamara Weber. Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Naveen. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. Rutkowski? Rutkowski. 
Landline Line by Rainbow Rowell. Side effects may vary by Julie Murphy. If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. More Than This by Patrick Ness. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. The S Word by Chelsea Pitcher. 19 Minutes by Jodie Picot. The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Renegade and Revelations by J.A. Souders. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The Beautiful and the Curse by Paige Morgan. Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Cepedes. Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. The Dinner by Herman Koch. Hexed by Michelle Chris. Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kuhn. Alex by Pierre Lemaitre. Devil's Knob by Mara Leverett. The Young Elites by Marie Lou. Throne of Glass and Air of Fire by Sarah J. Moss. I did also once read about 150 pages of this, but never finished it. No Great Mischief by Alistair MacLeod. Wicked Again and A Lion Among Men by Gregory Maguire. The Boy in the Attic by David Malone. Kiss Kill Vanish by Jessica Martinez. The Space Between Us by Jessica Martinez. The Vow by Jessica Martinez. Possess and 359 by Gretchen McNeil. Scarlet and Crest by Marissa Meyer. And finally, last but not least, The Martian by Andy Ware. This is my most recent book purchase and the one I'm very excited to read. So hopefully you guys have good things to say about it. So that is my entire owned TBR. The number will be somewhere on the screen. I'm hoping it's less than 300, maybe less than 280 would be good. This time last year, it was probably closer to 800. So let's just remember that. So yeah, make sure you tell me down in the comments which books I should bring to university. I'm probably going to bring about 25. So yeah, and then let me know which ones you think I should read like right away because I'm very overwhelmed with choices. So yeah, and if you have any other video ideas for me to do, make sure you let me know as well. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.